the computer. Hello, Miss Anya. Good Hi. afternoon. Yes. I am so excited to be here today and um, interviewing you, for lack of a better word, and <laughs> introducing you to um, our Treasure Tribe Silas community, but also to anybody that this video is shared with to just learn more about Park Lane and more about um, somebody that's come from another company. So um, let me first start out and just say hello and tell us a little bit about yourself. Hey, Christy. Hey, everybody. Well, I am honored to be here. And oh my gosh, it's kind of been a whirlwind of seven weeks <laughs> that, it? Um, <laughs> right? And I feel like, I feel like I've known you forever. In fact, I felt like I, I knew you had like the first phone call and I'm just so happy to have you in my life and to be here. And I'll get weepy, like right out of the gate. Like, hey, <laughs> deep, <laughs> breath. deep breath. Deep breath. There we go. Okay. See, like we're already like saying the same thing. So my name is Anya Grissom. I'm from um, Oklahoma by way of Germany. I was actually born in Germany, army, army brat and um, 53 years old, divorced, single mom, empty nester. Now I've got 19, 21 and 23 year old kiddos. And um, so kind of in a new chapter in many ways <laughs> of my life, um, I am a teacher counselor, a mental health professional. I've owned fitness boot camps. I've done a lot of things. I mean, in 53 years, you do a lot of things. And so <laughs> I've, uh, I love to travel and, uh, but yeah, so I've, I, I love to teach. I mean, I feel like what the things I've done, like have just like led me to where I am and, you know, the expertise that I have just really, um, you know, work very well in sales in relationship building, in leadership. And I actually do um, some coaching and social media instruction well, which leads very well into what we do. Um, but so I I have 15 years experience in um, in this you know niche as far as um, sales with MLM. And I came in kicking and screaming because I mean, I almost had my doctorate and I was just like, excuse me, um, no, <laughs> I'm not. I'm not no, going to do that. I've got this intelligent, you know, background. Yeah, exactly. I'm not, I'm not going to do that. Well, and, and think about it back when we started, because we actually started the exact same month, this month, 15 years ago. And I came to a party because my sister, which you're doing this with your sisters, my sister invited me to a party and she got a gift, you know, had another, you know, guest. And I was like, okay. And so I came and, it, and I, she has six children and I had three, three and under after 10 years of infertility. And so we were like, let's get out of the house. Right. And so we came to a party and I, it was cheaper to buy the kit than to buy all the skincare. So I was like, sign me up. And, um, you know, but I didn't know anyone that was actually ma making money mm -hmm. with a direct sales company. Right. Everybody signed up for the deal, gave their mom or their sister, their cousin, their BFF, their discount. And if they did do the business, they had a garage full of it, right? I mean, like, and sold it at a garage sale. Like, no, I didn't know anybody That's, making that money. That was my, I am the same, I'm the same way. That was my impression. Yeah. So I was like, wh why would I do that? But all my friends booked parties, they all bought stuff. And then, I mean, I did, the products worked. And, and then they, people were signing up and I was like, okay, I guess I'm going to do this. And then I caught the bug because I was making money. I did. I mean, I started, you know, signing people up and then I figured out that not only could I make money, I could help other people make money. And I'm, I'm a helping girl. Like I'm a teacher. I'm a counselor. I like to help people. And so once I figured out I could, you know, help myself and help others, I was addicted and I became the number one recruiter for five years with my first company. And then when they brought me a car and then they started sending me all over the world on trips. And I was like, I'm sold. This, I'm, is, I'm more, in. this is more fun than just making money. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. So that that's good. That's my kind of in a nutshell. And so you were with that company for how long on you? Almost 10 years before okay. it closed. It had been purchased by uh, like a governor, like, you know, it was, it was one of many companies that this other company owned and it was, I didn't know because you don't, it was in the red when I came in and I'm just like, 
ignorance on fire, you know, doing well. And um, it actually went under on a phone call um, in July of 2017. And we were like, and it's what I did full time, literally did full time. And so we found another company and I recruited 53 people in my first <laughs> with the next company, came in on a bridge and never needed it because I just hit, the, I mean, I, I, we did so many Zooms. I mean, my daughter would bring me food. Like, that's what you do. Like I, I rebuilt and um, was with that company for six years and um, left that company for various reasons. And, um, but so I was with skincare, makeup and then health and wellness. And, um, and then now have found so grateful to have been introduced to Park Lane. Although again, kind of kicking and screaming. <laughs> Like, well, and so, okay. So you finished with your previous company in what month this, this year, March of this year. Okay. So in March, okay. So March to now. So in that period, like how, how did you find out about Park Lane? How did this even come into your world? Because did you even know it even existed? So I, I had heard of it. So actually when, um, when my first company closed, my very tip top leader came to Park Lane. Okay. And, but I, again, I had taken off with this new company and I was like, no, Focus right. That. Yeah. And also I'm just going to be, you know me, I'm completely honest. I was like, that's an old jewelry company. Like that's old lady. That's what I had thought <laughs> when I, first, yeah. But we, 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 we rebranded about five years ago. So yeah. So, but anyway, that was probably your impression. But that was six years ago. Yes. So I, and the lady introducing it to me was a mature woman. And I was kind of like, uh, maybe you, right? relate. you were like, I can't relate to that. Yeah, I couldn't. And so, and I'm going to be the, I'll be honest, even when it was introduced to me, like a couple of months ago, that was my thought. And I even looked it up online and I was like looking at some pieces and the first ones that popped up, I was like, but then I, I was like, okay, maybe, but I'll be honest with you. So whenever, um, in March, that was unexpected for, for that, for me to leave that company. And it was under not such great circumstances. And I mean, I, I was making six figures and all of a sudden I had was making zero right. and I'm a single mom paying for D one college on my own. And I'm um, sorry about a fire truck going by. And so I, um, like needed to make some money, but that's the thing. I know how to make money and I know I can, I've done it before. So, I mean, I started with another company, but it was health and wellness. And again, it's just kind of competing from the one I just came from. Um, so I didn't do some things, but I was doing some coaching and I was kind of trying to do like a, a menu of things. Right. And so whenever I had my friend that introduced me, Artie that introduced me to Park Lane, uh, you know, talked to but you, you need, I think you're going to really like what you hear. You need to get on this phone call. Um, there's something called direct appointment, you know, with Park Lane. And I was just like, I do not have time for this. I, you know, I, I don't have time for this. I can't do one more thing. Yeah. Um, but finally I, you know, was like, okay, I'll, I'll do it. But um, like, where was I going with all of that? But, uh, oh, but I, I needed to make money, but I was trying to do all of these other things and not really, you know, making enough. And so I got on the phone call and did like what I, I heard. I did like what I heard. And so I, I agreed to do one more phone call and listen, listen to about what they had to say. So and for those of y'all that don't know, um, Park Lane has something called a direct to point program. And so if you have previous leadership experience, like Anya does, then you can um, have an interview with the company. And it is an interview where, you know, it has to match with both parties that things, you know, um, um, work together and you come in at a higher commission rate and a, the career title, the career ranking that you, you know, that you were at your previous company um, it, because you've got all this experience. And so you did this phone call and you learned all the things. So tell us a little bit about what you learned and that impression that it made on you. Okay. So as somebody who came from, first off, my first company closed, it was because of financial reasons, right? They didn't handle it was in the red. Yeah. So to hear that the company is 68 years old, it is cash rich. 
It is in third and fourth generation of the family owning it. Um, just to hear the history and to hear the, how solid it is. I was just like, okay, check the box. Like, that's amazing. Still good. The next thing <laughs> was um, that it's not driven by that it's incentive based how how i was just like this is so smart as someone who's been a leader um and a leader of leaders um to have how park lane how we incentivize first off the field then the hostesses then the customers because this is another thing that I had in my mind i was not looking number one for party plan ever again because I came from party plan back in the day driving around with inventory and doing parties you know face to face um and I'll get to that in a second but um I'll, but, uh, I wasn't looking for jewelry and this is what was my point I never never did I ever think jewelry was a reorder business okay so the way I mean we have just seen this in the last few weeks oh my gosh um there is a reason every day, 365 days a year to order and people want to, and not just, not just the, um, the stylists, because again, I have come from companies where, especially my first one, really the consultants were just glorified customers. We have true stylists. I mean, stylists, which we're customers too, because we want it all. Um, but most of it I've gotten for free. You guys, it's insane. Like, I mean, I like I I need Christy to send me some more things to organize all of this jewelry. It's crazy. Right. But there is a reason to order. So it's truly is a reorder business. So there's just so many, so many um, fallacies that I had going on in my mind about jewelry and about the company for sure. But that it is a reorder business that I don't have to out of my pocket because I used to be like, it's a great tax write off. I may have to be looking for tax write offs because like the company incentivizes. I'm not having to come up with challenges. One thing I coach when I coach people with MLMs is challenges to come up to get their team and their customers to move the needle. Park Lane's moving the needle for us. Like it's so good. Let me ask you, is there something that you can think of for an example for somebody that doesn't know how park lane works that maybe like are you talking about like our deal of the day or like our style our drop yeah. yeah our style drops our deal of the day are the sales the collections so having the two different collections each year but also we have like the of course black friday the holiday collection we have the deal of the day so here's the thing so okay so we have commissionable things and then non-commissioned. Some people be like, well, we're not getting paid on that. Well, guess what? They have to spend 40 to get this inexpensive thing that we're not getting paid on. I'll take that all day because guess what? They were That's not going to spend order. that 40 yeah. anyway. And I'm not having to go, I'm doing a drawing for a Amazon gift card if you'll go spend 40 because I can do that offer but that's not duplicatable to my team because sure. not everyone can do that. I don't know if ever everybody gets that, but if you've been a leader, you know that you can do, a, there's a lot of things that you can pull off, but you can't always trickle it down because I do, I, I live, eat and breathe. This is what I do full time, but most people are doing this with a full-time job and they can't, like one of my girls got home at 11 o'clock last night from her full-time job. She can't be, she's like, what's the deal? Like, but yeah. Park Lane's sending that deal out in a text message, in an email. Their they came up with it, they're funding it, and they're communicating it. So it happened whether she got home at 11 o'clock last night or not. Anya, that's, so that that's a great point in, in, in leadership here at Park Lane because everything does have to be duplicatable and they make it to where it is. In fact, when I joined, I'd been had 10 years with the previous company. They encourage us as leaders, don't do your own incentives because we do so many that you don't need to. And I was like, yeah, yeah, I don't have to spend the money on that, et cetera. So, so let me ask you this. You mentioned not going back to party plan. So how, how do you feel like explain more about that and what has excited you about it? If you would have told me six, seven weeks ago, I was going to do party plan. I would have called you a big fat liar. I'm just not <laughs> even a lot. I would have been like, girl, you might as well get out of here with that noise. And, and, and is that mostly because you 
were on the road at that time. You had to go and do where it's so different now. It's all online. Well, yes. And also it, I was in a different time. I had, I had little kids and I was on, like I said, and I was busting that girl. I was doing four to five parties a week. Yeah. I was, I mean, I mean, I, it was a different time and I was working. I mean, I was really working it, but yes, but I was carrying inventory because you sell 40% more if you carry inventory. Right. And so I, and I was driving one, two, three hours. I'm in Oklahoma. I was driving far uh, for parties and yes. And, and you would show up and you didn't know whether you were going to make a dollar. Right. And so whether there's going to be anybody there. So that was why. And, and towards the end, it was harder and harder to book parties. And that's why I went to online about mm, probably about 2011, 2012. I started going online myself kind of before other people were, um, you know, doing videos online. But what has happened is you, it's kind of like childbirth. I think you forget. <laughs> Walk it out. But the good parts, that's like I told you, it's like I had those muscles and I they're all coming back. And it's so funny, like different things that we I get on a call and I'm like, oh my gosh, I forgot we did that. And it's all the good stuff. In fact, some of the people from that company have joined uh, my team, my Park Lane team, and we're, we've laughed, we've cried, and we're just like, it's we're having so much fun and we're excited about it. And here's what it is. A couple of things. It's the partnership with the hostess, which you have taught us so great with the onboarding and the training and the hostess coaching, which everything is in boards. All, all the tools and systems are there. Um, so it's so duplicatable. And I'm not having to tell everybody. I'm just like, here it is. Here it is. It's so great. Um, but it's that partnership with the hostess. So I'm not having to onesie twosie, go find people. She's putting me into her network. I'm not having to get into people's networks and be spammy, but it is that security of looking at my calendar and knowing I have potential work on the books. It's like, it's, it's like a, a physician or an attorney looking at their schedule, like and they have a whole schedule there. Yeah. yeah. And so I just remember the day, um, cause you encouraged me to get, you know, early bookings, even before my launch and then bookings off of my, and, and then I know how to drop seeds and get bookings from my parties. And then looking at my calendar is just that day. And I just went, I, I forgot this feeling. I just forgot. And, and, and women, we love security. And I, especially as a single woman, a mama, I just like, I forgot how good that feels. And it's, it's just so important. It's, it, it's really important. And so with going to, and now you're doing all your parties virtually, you're doing everything online. Yeah. And yes. so you're not experiencing those negative, you know, things that you. Oh, remember. for sure. Yeah, absolutely. And it's so cute. One of my ladies, um, cause I did my launch party and it was so cute. It was time for my party and I was getting ready to go uh, online and I heard a knock at my door and it was one of my sweet ladies and she showed up. She thought it was in person. I said, well, you can stay. <laughs> Oh, yeah, a little person. She was ready. I was like, it's so cute. Well, but, uh, but they, you can't do in person. Nobody's of course. Do it however you want to do it. So it's course, just, so, um, yeah. we are finding that you can reach more, you know, doing it virtually. Um, so another thing that you've shared with me that I want you to share with other people is what the direct appoint program here at Park Lane has meant to you versus maybe you mentioned you were bridged at a previous company. Can you explain what the difference is and how that's felt? Well, for sure. So, you know, a bridge felt like the bridge was scary because it was like, I know how much money I need, but I don't know if I can do that. Right. And if I agree to saying, okay, I need $5,000 and this is how much volume I have to hit to get that. And I have this amount of time to hit it. And if I don't, then I owe the company. Right. And yeah. then it felt, it, it just felt different. And I also felt like we were looked at differently. It's like, Oh, that group came in with a bridge and a special offer. It felt kind of icky Mm -hmm. and scary. And then also there's people that I know that kind of go from companies to companies and just suck all they can. They, they go as high as they can. They break teams in and they move on. Right. 
Um, so there's, you know, we know with our industry, there's negative connotations and um, some are earned and some are not. <laughs> but with this, which I never even heard of, it felt like an interview. It felt, well, it was. I mean, she asked me, you know, different things. And then also I was asking questions about the company and learning. Again, I had wrong impression about the company on many levels and lots of things I didn't know. And um, I did research. I didn't make a decision right away. Um, and really, she didn't either. She checked me out and, you know, found out things about me as well. And then she made an offer. And, and when I'm you say you make that, an offer, for those that don't know, what 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 does that mean? So basically, I mean, and she laid it out. She was like, okay, we're going to see, is it a fit? Are you a fit for us? And, and is this a fit for you? And so, I mean, she's not, I mean, Parkland's not going to make an offer to someone who does not have leadership experience, who is just looking to come in, suck what they can and move on. I mean, the culture is very, is amazing and is very protected. I mean, it's not stuck around for 68 years for nothing. I mean, Kathy, who I spoke with has been with the company for 40 years. Um, and so basically she looked at what I had done, the accomplishments that I had made, the lead, mainly the leadership experience that I had, because she was going to put me, plug me, give my the offer into a leadership position, yeah. right? And place me under you. And, um, and so I had to have leadership experience in order to um, have that offer and why that is. And like the analogy or the, that I gave you earlier is that would be like an an attorney who who like their um, their practice closed and then all of a sudden you're going to go back to being a paralegal. I mean, I had 15 years experience had had restarted. I mean, I built two large you know businesses, six figure uh, over million dollars. You know each one, and then I'm going to go back to square one. Which I'm going to tell you when my first company closed. So many of my friends, hundreds of them were like, I just can't, I can't bear doing, I can't even fathom. Go back Some to being been a in, consultant versus like no. having a leadership title. Yeah. They've done it for 20 plus years. Some of them, they were just like, I, and the work right now, anything you've done that it's going to be faster, but they just, they just couldn't fathom it. So I literally, when she made me my offer, the respect I felt, I was so honored. I mean, I cried. I, I was just like, what? And, and then my first one, I was like, but I, I can't, I don't know how quickly I can like get up to that. Those, those levels. She goes, just have fun. And I was like, but I don't have like a team coming with. And she goes, Anya, just have fun. And I was just like, okay. <laughs> And that is literally what my team has said over and over. They're like, we're just having so much fun and we're, and we're having success as well. And then, and, and I mean, literally of the 14 in four weeks now, 10 of 14 have made money are getting paid and we're having fun. And I mean, it's just, all of them have gotten well, trained. Me, on that's board. not, that's not, sorry to interrupt you. No, that's been your experience in the past with bringing people on and making no, yeah. like most of the time, you know, you'll you'll bring people on and then you get ghosted, right? Because like they 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 have regrets, that buyers remorse, they don't want to do the training, they're scared, whatever. Like, and which is totally human nature. I mean, I have a, a psychology background. I get it, but like I and I told someone the other day, I've never, never in fifteen years can I say that my entire team has come. Um, has been trained. They've all done their launch parties. They are all trying, right? I mean, again, we're, we're babies. Like we're just getting right. started. Like, and, but the 10 of 14 has, has made it, have they made a paycheck, um, gotten their money back and gotten a paycheck. And like, I, I'm so proud of that, you know, and even the ones that haven't yet, they're still trying. We're in communication. Nobody's ghosting me. Yeah. Like they're all, they're all happy. They're, you know, and so I just feel so good about that. 
and that I know that in this economy and everybody hurting and just, you know, I mean, so many people I reached out to about purchasing, they're just like, I just don't have any money. And I'm like, I can help you with that. And I know, I know one of my, my very first RVPs in, in my first company that just used to say, I know that I know that I know, I know that I can help people, which is my heart, which is my passion. And I know with this company that I can do that. And with my company, with Park Lane, I can do that. And so um, 30 to 50%, that is huge, is unheard of with your personal sales and then more with your team when you duplicate. And, and so I want to do that. And I want to mention, so Anya, when you came in as a senior division leader, okay, um, that was a title that you were um, offered at Park Lane. That yes. came with a that one of the higher commission rates. It came at a 45% commission rate. Yes. I want to make that clear. Anya always works, earns 45%. She doesn't start over at 30% at the beginning of the month and has to work her way up. No, it is always 45% um, or 50. She can work up to 50. Um, and she will never lose that title. And I think that that, that is, is huge because it's not how it was where I came from. And um, it means a lot because you're not just fearful constantly of having to keep up. So it, it really was. And I'm telling you, like, like I said, I literally in, in what's in seven weeks now may have made, um, half what I made in seven months in the transition company that I was with. And so like that has just been be because I didn't have to start over many, many reasons. Um, but our system also, works, we've yeah, got the programs. Systems, yeah, absolutely. And also I have to say, Again, for someone who never thought they were going to sell jewelry, has not been a huge jewelry girl, we're having so much fun and really underestimated the um, first off that it's the number one thing that people that women love to gift. They love to give that the confidence that comes with um, what, what it can do for a woman, um, but also just the not having the struggle of explaining ingredients worrying about medical claims. I said this yesterday. I was like, they either love it or they don't. The they either want gold or silver. And I've never said the word hematite in my life. And I've said it <laughs> now you have. <laughs> and I love hematite all of a sudden. Like, you know, and I just I love the simplicity of it. And I love our offers. And I love that people like I don't feel like I'm having to talk anybody into it. Like it's truly here's um, what I do. I, I do this. Is, and I know. Like, is like, it cute like, or is it not? You like end. this? Yeah. I love this. I love this. Uh -huh. Yeah. You know, well, well, just, Anya, I would love for you to share just, you know, final thoughts. Um, and uh, just for anybody that's listening, because your, your story is very inspiring. And I'm so grateful that you found Park Lane. But there are a lot of people that are, you know, either unhappy where they are or they're looking for a new home. And um, so just any final thoughts? Well, I, again, I know that there's a lot of people um, <clears throat> hurt, uh, hurting and struggling right now financially. Um, whew, second. Um, a lot of uh, moms, we've both been single moms. You're getting ready to get married. <laughs> 16 days, girl, 16 <laughs> days. And so I know that we both have a heart for that. Um, and I know a lot of people we've said, I mean, I've said it for 15 years, especially the last six, you know, you can do this in the pockets of time. You can do the truth is a lot of um, direct sales companies or, you know, side gigs, whether you're driving Uber, you're doing Uber Eats or you're whatever, it you're trading time for money. Mm -hmm. And a lot of them take quite a bit of time to make a significant amount of money. And I know everybody says whatever they're doing is the best or whatever. Guys, I've only been here seven weeks. Okay. So the truth of the matter is I... I have seen a lot of comp plans. I have seen a lot of systems and tools in my 15 years. I've never seen a richer comp plan. I've never seen uh, tools or systems that you truly can just plug in. I've never seen a uh, where um, corporate does more for you, where you can truly do your parties. You can do them all in one night, once a week. And you're going to be so supported where you can spend less time and make more money. Mm -hmm. So you can trade less time, make more money. That's this. 
And again, you're not having to learn ingredients. You're not having, I mean, all those types of things. Simple Simple. products that people want, simple systems, less time, more money. So if, if you want something, you need something, you need to take a look at this. I mean, from my heart to yours, like I had to like choke it back on you for real. You need to take a look at this. Well, Anya, I, I, I feel your emotion. I know your emotion. We've spent a lot of time yeah. together and um, my experience has been the same. Um, I'm beyond grateful. And so I'll just say, if you're watching this video, whoever invited you to our YouTube channel to learn more about Park Lane, connect with them. Um, if yeah. you've got a previous leadership experience, you know, just get the information. You know, you may be coming, fighting and screaming like Anya. <laughs> Um, I was too. I had no intentions of uh, leaving my previous company, although I saw things declining and we, you know, were, were told certain things that weren't true. But I am so grateful that I am a smart business person. You're a smart business person. We took the time to listen and just learn because it's free and it's not, it's only going to help you. So um, thank you for sharing your story. So appreciate you. And um, we hope if you're listening that you will join us to learn more and hopefully join our treasure tribe. So thanks so much, Anya. All right. Thank you. Bye guys.